Hi everyone! In this short video series, we will show the Listing Type feature in our UListing plugin. In this particular video, we will introduce you to the Listing Type feature and show you how to create custom fields. The Listing Type encompasses a range of related products under a single parent category. By default, the UListing plugin demo provides two built-in listing types, cars and buildings. To create a listing type, first go to Dashboard – Listing Types. Here you can also see, edit, or delete your existing types. Now press the Add New button or follow the Add New link on the main menu. Now we are located in the Listing Type main settings. On the left side here, we see a Listing Type menu. It navigates to the necessary settings in the listing type creation process. What we need now is the first option here, a custom field. If you want to know about any other particular section in this menu, you can find links to other videos from this series in the description below. The custom fields parameter allows users to create a new listing type by providing a custom fields list. Here you can see the three main columns. They will help you to navigate through this section. From right to left, we have a New Custom Fields column, All Available Custom Fields column, and Used Custom Fields column. As the name suggests, in the far right column, you can create new custom fields. By default, we have a bunch of custom fields created for you. But if you want to create new custom fields, you can do it here. Let's create one. Just add attributes of your new field, such as Title and Type. You have different types to choose from. Here, you can either add an icon from one of the icon packs or add your own image to the field you will create. Now, just press Add Field and it will appear here, in the middle column. All you have to do now to use it is drag and drop to the Used Custom Fields column and press the Save Changes button here. The middle column contains all available custom fields. You can find and choose the one you need from this list. Or use a quick search bar here. Just type a desired custom field name and it immediately appears. To use it, simply drag and drop this custom field to the left column. The last column contains all active custom fields, those that we will use. To use a custom field, just drag it from the middle column and click Save Changes. You can easily change their order inside the column or remove it from Used by dragging them back to the middle column. Just don't forget to Save Changes. To edit or delete custom fields, you have relevant icons on the right corner of every field. Just press the right one. If you press the Edit icon, its attributes will appear on the third column. Change it to whatever you want and press the Update Field button, and now it's changed. If you want to delete the field, press the red button. There's also another way to create new custom fields and add them directly to the existing listing types. Let's jump to it. In the main menu, you will see Custom Fields. Let's go there. Here we have two columns. The left column is where you can create your field. As we did before, just add the right attributes and choose Type. Now, here you also need to choose the listing type, where you want this field to appear. Let's choose Cars, for instance. Choose an icon and press the Create button. A new field will appear here in the right column. Let's find it. Okay, here it is. Now we can edit or delete it. Also, you will notice that some of the custom fields have an additional Items List button. So that depends on the type of field you've created. For instance, here is a Drive field and its type is Select. That means it allows users to select from several different options. So, what item list does is actually allows you to create these options inside a particular field. 
let's press this button and dive into items list. Okay, as you can see, right now, the drive field already has four options to choose from. What we can do here is to edit or delete these options or create a new one right here on the left column. Creating an option is as easy as creating a custom field itself. Just fill the form, select an icon, and press the Add New Listing Custom Field Options button right here. In case, if you want to add this option to another field, let's say that you confused two custom fields and now you want to add it to another field, you can choose the right field from this list.